Purim is a one-day holiday where Jews celebrate the book of Esther, the story of long ago when a Persian king, uh, Ahasuerus, almost listened to an evil advisor who wanted to exterminate the Jews. This decree was overturned, the Jews lived, and to celebrate this, one day Purim is observed when the children dress in costumes, a lot of adults dress in costumes too. You give each other gifts of food called Shalach Manas, you give charity, and also the men drink. Last year for Purim we were in Williamsburg, which is really my turf. It was a great and very, very rainy day. Today we're in Borough Park and I want to share with you what it looks like here on this sunny, cold, lovely Purim day. Ruig means calm down. <laughs> Everyone is telling each other to calm down <laughs> by ramping up the energy. <laughs> These little kids are dressed up as, I think, they're astronauts. It says Jupiter. Some of the costumes, I don't really know what they are, but mostly they're, they're like, so far we've seen a couple varieties. Cute hats on boys and uh, puffy skirts on girls. And the strimal, the, the strimal that the men wear, they're all wearing it today. Um, there are also children wearing it. Okay, oh, look at this. This poster tells people that on this holy day when you can move bad decrees on a very holy day like Purim, you should please plead for the recovery of this woman who is sick. So a lot of charity and the spirit of charity is central in this day. Even though it's a day of merriment and going crazy with drinking, it's also a day where that merriment holds a lot of seriousness. Okay, let's go this way. I'm hearing, uh, what are those? Sparklers? Oh, oh the boy over there, there, yeah. Yeah, what are those things? You throw them and they pop. What are those shoes? She's walking on some wheels or something. We're hungry. This whole trailer here is just candy for Purim, for the people's gift baskets. Fire some pita. All right, let's go. Keep moving. Yeah, of course. Pitam Gelt. How much? After Gelt? After Gelt? It doesn't work. It works after Pitam also. Keep spreading positivity. Oh, thank you. So, it's Pitam. Thank you. What do you say? I got Pitam Gelt. Pitam Gelt is like when you give Shalk Moons, usually you get Pitam Gelt. $40. I guess I should, I should turn it into singles and give it out. Are you ready for Hamantashen? This? Not. Okay. So what are hamantashen? Hamantashen are these triangles, pastries you eat on Purim. Its significance is not entirely clear, but the word hamantashen means Haman, the evil character who wanted the Jews to perish on Purim. And tashen is the Yiddish word for pockets. So you have him in your pocket. It's a Yiddish expression for saying, I don't care about him. Oh, I see what you are. They're dressed up as Tom Eden employees. Oh, you look so nice. So this is the bakery we're going to go into. They're dressed up as the staff of the bakery. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. <laughs> There's a whole culture around Hamantashi now. It used to be just poppy, which is in Yiddish moon, and lekvai, which is prune, like dark brown, unexciting flavors. But there is now, look at this, let me show you. We have almond, we have apricot, nougat, prune, chocolate, raspberry poppy. In the dairy section, we have these. We have cheese, caramel, strawberry, and cheesecake crumbs. This bakery is a very modern bakery, which means they keep reinventing old pastries and with the newest flavors. I have to have dairy. The dairy version is the best, but I'm trying to decide between cheesecake crumb and praline. Do you know what praline is? Thank you so much. I got singles. <laughs> what does this look like? I ask what this is. Well, they look at me and they're like, what kind of question is that? It's obviously fancy hamantaschen. Are you supposed to bite into the whole thing at once? Oh, it's soft. This is really good. Cheesecake flavor. Are you gonna go get another one? <laughs> Hope not. <laughs> That's where the incredibly loud music is coming from, on the balcony. 
It helps lift the spirits. Oh, look, this car, speaking of which. Let's tie to it. They're advertising an organization that's trying to encourage people to become matchmakers. Sorry, you can't talk, it's too loud. It says, which teeth do you want? Remember not to eat a lot of Nashampuram. Okay, it's time for some seriousness. So these two posters are trying to move people to more uh, seriousness, but also to making sure that nothing out of control happens. It's actually telling men not to go collect charity, especially unmarried boys, except in places where it is certain that no women can be found there. Meaning if there are women in the house and the boys are dancing there and the women are watching, it could be too much. So this poster I actually first saw on Twitter because there was a bit of a backlash to it and people were saying busy bodies are going way too far. They're pushing everyone away. They'll, they'll still hang their posters if people will listen or not is a question of its own. A joyous life only without internet and video. Ooh, look at this. A car with open internet is forbidden according to the rules of some, some great sage. And there's a picture of a Tesla. The way the day works is in the beginning, the morning-ish to afternoon, before everyone gets drunk, you deliver shelf manas and you can do a lot of them. I think my mother would make like 200. So you give and you get and you give uh, Pidam Gel to anyone who brings to your door. And then the second half of the day, the evening, is when the drinking really ramps up. A lot of people try to get the shelf out of the way before they get drunk. Makes sense, right? Can we see any of your shelf manas? We don't have any footage of people's shelf manas. Do you mind? So we have this. is candy. Popcorn. This is a little different. What's in this? Do you know? Oh, yeah, with chocolate. And drinking <laughs> alcohol? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Prathampuram. Hi, what are you dressed as? A bellman. He's, He's a bellman. And you? I'm the one coming to the hotel. Oh, you're the very wealthy. Ah, oh, very nice. Can I give you Purim Gelt? Thank you so much. Simchus Purim. Thank you. I got Purim Gelt, so I'm paying it forward. <laughs> She's a hot air balloon is Awesome, you look wild. What's your costume? What's my costume? A funny guy. Ah, hilarious. Purim. Same as Purim, you look hilarious. There are different emojis, each of them? Yep. A wink, a smile. Oh, and the hearts, very cute. Can I give you a Purim gout? <laughs> Happy Purim. To you, and to you, and to you. Because you have such gorgeous costumes. What's your costume? A Zyda? No. You also? You're also a Zyda? Very nice. I really like it. <laughs> what is your costume? He's a rabbi? You're a rabbi. Oh, <laughs> you figured it out. What's his costume? Like a, a boogeyman holds him. A boogeyman holds him. Oh, and what are you, Hanyak? Awesome. He's dressed as a very uh, old-fashioned man, right? I'm struck by so many of the kids that are dressed up as older people. It is so interesting that the children enjoy and are so delighted to be dressed up as older people in gray hair and canes. I can't imagine in the secular culture children enjoying the idea of dressing up as an old person. I think it's something really interesting. What's this down Fashtela? Na? Na na? What's this on Nana? Weissnisch? Nana is, there's a sect called Breslev, and they're a little hippie-esque, and he's dressed like he has an instrument. I'm also struck by how many of the kids are dressed up as different sects or sub-branches of Orthodox Judaism, like the Nanachs, which are the Breslev sect, which are considered like the wild and maybe more, maybe more spiritual, maybe more out of the box Hasidic group, or I saw one kid dressed up as yeshivish, which is non-Hasidic Orthodox. Um, I saw a kid dressed up as Chabad, which is a sect that doesn't have a very big representation in, in Borough Park and not at all in Williamsburg. So we're seeing these different internal distinctions expressed through the costumes. Oh my God, he's dressed as a kosher slaughter. Oh no, that's a terrible costume. He kills the chickens. Oh, wow, nice yeah. Thing. Wait, let me hear. What's the rap? Well, no, nah, I'm not rap. I don't know. I'm just trying to be drippy. Really. Oh. Alright, uh, yeah. Cool, man. Well, where's this going? YouTube, bro. Yeah. 
I, I might have a new subscriber. <laughs> Happy for them. <laughs> I guess this is a whole class. Some of the young girls are dressed as married women with wigs and makeup and high heels. And it is so hard to know which of the girls today are married and which are not, because the women are married pretty young, so it's hard to know who's in a costume and who's just themselves. You're a boy? Rachem So there are all these groups of kids, they're called mobiles, that will organize, usually teenagers, they will wear the same clothing. So they will go from house to house and they will make merry, um, they will play music, they will dance, and in exchange for that joy that they bring, they will expect money for whatever charity they're fundraising for, usually for their school. This truck was out there last year as well, an organization I know I know I am is trying to get people to guard their eyes. Eyes are the gateway to the soul. Don't contaminate it with uh, unsavory sites in the streets or on the internet. This, I don't know who's funding this organization, but they have posters everywhere. But then they have trucks circling during the Purim festivities. Okay, my cameraman is very audacious, and I think he wants to join up or something. He's getting himself ingratiated into homes where people are drinking and having fun. I don't know, I think he wants to dance. Happy Forum, everyone. Be happy. Say hi. 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 Okay. We saw all sorts of cute, wild, crazy, funky costumes. We had delicious amitation. We did not, though, today see a lot of drunks, just a little bit. Um, I think the drinking is still about to ramp up. I will say, in contrast to my visit in Williamsburg, maybe because it's a different year, different weather, people were really open and friendly, and um, it was a very, very fun time today for Purim. So thanks for joining me on this Purim adventure.